I thank the chairman for yielding. I had not intended to speak on this particular issue, but I had the opportunity to hear my good friend Mr. Wolf in debate recently, and I wanted to come down to the floor and correct the misimpression he has about the so-called carcieri fix. And let me begin by thanking my good friend, the chairman, for allowing us to put that uh, particular legislation in the bill. I actually proposed the amendment on the floor. It was passed unanimously on a bipartisan vote by our subcommittee in Interior. And the bill, frankly, the measure has absolutely nothing to do with gaming. As a matter of fact, the Supreme Court fix uh, that it addresses didn't involve gaming at all. It involved a housing case, land put into trust and used for housing by an Indian tribe. And what the Supreme Court has done by a very narrow interpretation of the 1934 Indian Reorganization Act is create two classes of Indian tribes, some of whom can receive land in the trust as they have for 80 years by secretaries of the interior of both parties and some of whom now cannot. And almost all the cases involved here, almost every single one, uh, involve cases that have absolutely nothing to do with gaming. This is ultimately a sovereignty issue and a process issue. And frankly, if this fix is not made, it would not have been made without the support, frankly, of the members of the committees of jurisdiction and of the United States Senate, who said this was the best vehicle and the best way to go. But if the fix isn't made, we are going to have billions of dollars worth of litigation and have enormous disruption of economic economic development in Indian country. So I think my friend is simply under a misimpression, Mr. Speaker. I wanted to make that uh, point for the record. Again, wanted to thank my friend, Mr. Obi, for working with us uh, and his staff, and uh, my good friend, uh, the, uh, the uh, chairman of the subcommittee, uh, uh, Chairman Moran, for working with us for a bipartisan solution to a real problem. Without a yield back. Gentlemen, he was back to balance.